In this section, we're going to handle the first part of the ASO, which is how to have our application rank for keyword search. To do this, we first need to understand how the Apple App Store search works. When you are adding your application to iTunes Connect, four different fields are being indexed for keywords. The application name, which is 255 characters, the keyword list, 100 characters, the in-app purchase name, which is just in case you have an in-app purchase, which is not always the case, and your publisher's name. While you can use the four fields to index your application, you'll see that you'll be mainly using the first two, app name and keyword list. Apple is also not treating all the fields as equal, and keywords in your app name will make you rank higher than the ones in the keyword list. We'll talk more about this later on in this course. Now you may be wondering why the description field is not part of this list. The reason is that Apple doesn't index it for keywords. It's used for app publishers like you and me to give more details to people who are thinking about downloading our apps, but it's not indexed for keywords. This course is about iOS ASO only, but for information, ASO for Google Play works differently as Google indexes the description field. The form that you are seeing on the screen should be familiar to you. This is the form in iTunes Connect where you enter information about your application. Next to the two red arrows, we can see the application name field and the keywords field that we are talking about. Now let's look at the search logic. All keywords used in the search have to be either in the app name or keywords for the app to be listed. So as long we're going to see examples, but as long as the keywords are either in the app name or keywords or keywords list, sorry, then your app is going to be part of the results. Now let's look at examples to illustrate how the search logic works. In the form, you can see that my app name is fitness exercises. So two words. In my keywords field, I have three words separated by a comma, which is the proper format, by the way, health, training, and sport. Now let's pretend that someone enters the keyword fitness in the App Store search. My app will be part of the results because the word fitness is a word that is part of my app name. If someone enters health, same thing, health is part of the keyword list therefore the app will be part of the result if someone enters fitness exercises two words those two words are part of the app name therefore the app will be listed too now let's pretend that someone enters the two keywords training exercises by the way when you have more than one keyword we call this a keyword phrase or phrase this example with training exercises is interesting and important to understand. Why? Because the word training is in the keywords field and the word exercises is in the name field. The search logic rule tells us that the words have to be either in one of those two fields for the app to be part of the results. Following that logic, yes, our application will be listed. In the next example, we have three keywords, easy fitness exercises. Fitness and exercises are part of the app name, so we're fine there, but the word easy is nowhere to be seen. It's not in the name and it's not in the keyword list. Therefore, we have a missing word and we're not gonna be listed. With those five different examples, you should now have a good understanding on how the keyword search works in the App Store. 